Hi, welcome to the Outdoor Laboratory Podcast YouTube channel. So this is where the video podcasts are going to be, where uh, it's going to be, I guess, readily available if you like YouTube. I know I like YouTube for podcasts. I like watching them sometimes. Uh, but for this podcast and for the next podcast, there are no video. I am sorry. There will be video on the third podcast that comes out. I do have that recorded. The first two couldn't get them recorded. But this is kind of an introduction to the introduction. So I hope you enjoy the podcast and this audio clip. Podcast. I'm your host, Danny Capo. And today we're going to be focusing on the goals of what this podcast is going to become. So how was I able to come up with this podcast is because I was given an internship opportunity uh, through my outdoor leadership degree. And I wanted to use this opportunity to benefit you guys, the listeners. I wanted to inform you guys about the Colorado Plateau. I wanted to tell you guys about the opportunities that there are out here, the history of out here. And I wanted to just tell you the benefits of the outdoor education and recreation that can be found here on the Colorado Plateau. Now, on this series of podcasts, we will be covering the Colorado Plateau specifically. Now, this region is a region that I was given the opportunity to study this past semester in something called the Grand Canyon semester. Now, that was through uh, Northern Arizona University and through the National Collegiate Honors Council. And I'm happy to say that this semester was a very transformative experience. It was, it was a place where I was able to, to really dive into the depths of who I was and also into the depths of the Grand Canyon. I was able to, to personalize a landscape and really learn from it as a text, you know? That's one of, one, of, one of the activities that we would do with the Grand Canyon as text. We would go to places and try to learn from the landscape. And it's so easy or so normal for us to to learn from words in a book, but not learn from the landscape around us and, and from this from this environment that we've been blessed to have. And I want I want to to inspire my listeners to go out and have these experiences, have these transformative experiences. And some of the series that we're going to be talking about and some of the topics are going to include what are transformative experiences? And how, how are they created? And that's through a thing called flow state. We're going to be covering flow state. And, and looking into that, looking into the research about that and the benefits of that. We're also going to be diving into how the Colorado Plateau is an outdoor laboratory. And what is an outdoor laboratory? An outdoor laboratory is exactly that, a laboratory. You go and you conduct experiments. And these experience, experiments are experiential experiments that you can go do by yourself. And these experiential experiments are things like hiking. Things like rafting, things that get you out of your comfort zone, that lets you test the variables of your life. That's what these, these this outdoor laboratory potential is in the Colorado Plateau. And this is a potential that you can find anywhere around you. Um, I also want to dive in to what the benefits are of transformative recreation in the aspects of eco psychology. Um, also, the benefits of environmental and experiential education in our schools and and trying to see how we can implement the environment into our everyday life to make these advocates of the future of who we are going to become. And the series, some of them, some of these are going to be called, uh, for example, experiential experiments. And that's going to be just be me going on a podcast, hiking with you guys. You know, I'll be telling you guys some stories, maybe some observations. And tell you guys the directions on how to get to these cool hikes that I'm going to. You know, I want you guys to go and experience it. I want to give you guys the opportunities and the tools to go and do it yourself. Um, I'm also going to be going into a thing called History Helix. So I'm also studying history in school. I'm doing a double major of history and outdoor leadership. And I wanted to incorporate history. And I came up with this idea of a series called History Helix. And History Helix is basically... Uh, referencing the, the our DNA, you know, we have a helix strand DNA and how history has binded us all together. And we're going to be going over these the historical outdoor professionals uh, in the Colorado Plateau for this series. And uh, some cool names like that are going to be John Wesley Powell, Katie Lee. You know, we're going to be talking about these movers and shakers of the Colorado Plateau. And also some people who might have not done so much good things like uh, John D. Lee or people like that. Um we're also going to be doing another series of podcasts called The People of the Plateau. And these are these modern outdoor professionals. You know, these rafting companies that take out these amazing groups that have these amazing experiences. Uh, 
even talking to some 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 rap guys like getting experiences from them stories from them um what does an outdoor professional look like in the modern era you know where where, where we have technology how 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 can we incorporate uh nature in today you know that's an amazing way to, to get into these people. We're going to be getting into these, these professionals' heads and, and really tackling these topics. Um, another series that I would like to start is uh, the Grand Canyon Semester. Um, I want to I wanna, I wanna tell you guys about the opportunity that, that there is out here in the Northern Arizona University. The Grand Canyon Semester is this, is this, um, this opportunity for you to transform who you are. Really ask yourself these questions. And it's this, this semester that's been around for a long time. And it's impacted so many people. And I want to go find these people. Like, I was, I, I was impacted. How are you impacted? Like, is this, is this this awesome opportunity? Like, this is something that everyone needs to know about. At least have the opportunity to go on and, and do it, you know? And I want you guys to hear about these experiences. So I'm going to be talking to my fellow uh, classmates from this past semester. Um, some other uh, participants from past uh, semesters. And really getting their input. Really asking them. Hey, like, how is this? A transformative experience for you because that's exactly what it was since the beginning of the semester they were trying to challenge us the faculty were they were trying to challenge us to change our points of view and i want to get into that i want to tell you guys about that i'm excited to tell you guys about that and lastly i want to i want to touch on some education and on the transformation that we need to make to more experiential education you know and i want to touch on some series about that there's some amazing people in flagstaff arizona that I'm going to be interviewing some amazing uh, corporations, some amazing teachers, some amazing facilitators. And, you know, I'm, I'm excited, excited to show you guys this, these, this, uh, this amazing region of the Colorado Plateau. I am, I'm excited for what's going to come of this podcast. And I want this to not just be informative and educational, but exciting and entertaining, you know. The stories and these adventures that you, I'm going to share with you guys and, and these awesome people, I hope, can only motivate you to go out and have your own experiences. Go out and experience it for yourself. Because if you don't go and experience it for yourself, all this is is going to be another podcast. So go out there and, you know, transform yourself. Go and have these experiences that, that you can really challenge yourself and get uncomfortable. That's the, that's the key. Get uncomfortable. That's how you change. That's how you transform. It's getting uncomfortable. And for the remaining of this podcast, I kind of want to introduce you guys to your host, Danny Capo. Uh, <laughs> um, I wanted to let you guys know about who I am. Uh, well, I was born in Miami, Florida. Uh, I've been on the East Coast my whole life. I never really got out of Miami, Florida until I, gra I graduated high school. And I went to college in Tennessee. And that was the first time I saw... The, the Smoky Mountains. I mean, I had been outside before. I went on hikes. I, I love the outdoors. Uh, I would go to the Everglades, things like that. But there weren't these vast landscapes. You know, Florida's flat. Florida's a flat place. And I love Florida. I love Florida. I, I, I'm not dogging on Florida. I love Florida. But it's just like it's flat. I mean, you can canoe. I love canoeing, you know. But I was able to go to these mountains. And I was able to go on these hikes, these adventures. And that's what they really were, like expeditions. They were adventures. And I was able to... Since I'm studying outdoor leadership, I was able to go on, on some amazing trips, really. I was able to, to do a, around a 20-mile hike my first time, um, and that was really eye-opening at, the, at the, the beauty of these landscapes. I was able to get on the top of this mountain and, and look down at other mountains, and I had never, I had never seen such a beautiful landscape, I, like only on, only, on, only on the computer, you know? I had never really been able to get out of that, that, that flatness, you know? I was able to get up on something and look over. And it was amazing. It was really, it, it, I mean, it got me motivated to study outdoor leadership. And I think because of that trip, I, I gained some, some knowledge of what I had to learn and what I had to do. And because of this degree, I've been able to go on other adventures like uh, this spring break, not this, uh, yeah, this past spring break. I went to uh, Mexico and I climbed three mountains. We did uh, Malinche, Ixtasihuatl and Orizaba and Orizaba was an 18,000 plus foot mountain you know like that's that's high up there and I'm from Miami like I've never been past sea level really other than 4,000 feet in Tennessee you know like I wasn't really I never been up that high in that high altitude and it was it was crazy to see my body react to it and it was an amazing experience really for my mind 
because I was I was really challenged on that trip, and that was my first um, I would say um, expedition where I, my life was in danger too. Like it was a it was an amazing trip, and it was an amazing thing. But like the the physical activities that we were doing, like up on this mountain, like crevasses, you know, it was a very tech. It wasn't it was a technical a technical place we had to go through a place called the labyrinth. Like it was very technical and very could have been potentially dangerous, but because I went with uh, these amazing outdoor professionals who run my program, um, we were safe. And, you know, I was able to really go into an extreme landscape. And that's that's what I would call an extreme landscape. And similarly, I classify the Grand Canyon, the Colorado Plateau, as an extreme landscape. Um but after this, these experiences that I've had, you know, I've had multiple rafting experiences. I guided in the summertime, you know, I was, I'm an outdoor, le- that's what I'm studying. So like, I'm an out, I'm, I'm in the outdoors constantly. And I was like, I saw this opportunity to go to the Grand Canyon uh, semester. And I was like, this is, I got to jump on this. This is how I can see experiential education firsthand, you know? And I added, I added that to, to my outdoor experiences. And I do have to say that that landscape kicked my butt, you know, it really, really made me go down to the core of who I was. I mean, think about it. Like you're hiking through the Grand Canyon. You're, you're, you're seeing the layers of earth. Like you're going through the history of earth. And at the same time, I felt kind of like this semester made me go into the history of myself and, and, and come to terms with who I am so far in my life. I mean, I'm only 20 years old. You know, I'm really young, about to turn 21, but it's important to have these, these, uh, these experiences early on too, I think. And I'm, I'm really happy I was given the opportunity through my school, through the National Collegiate Honor Society. I'm happy that the faculty at Northern Arizona University are such professionals and such amazing people really who personalized this landscape and gave it a name, you know, gave it a, gave it a relationship. That's what they did. They gave me a relationship with the landscape. And this relationship is something that I want to I wanna share with you guys. And that's what I hope this podcast is. I want you guys to get to know me, get to know the landscape, and get to know the, the ways to have these experiences and the, the, the tools needed and to go and have these experiences yourself. I think that's the main thing I want to get across is that these experiences that you guys are going to see me go on or that you're going to hear about that I've had or that other people have had on the Colorado Plateau. These are experiences that you can have. These are all experiences that you can have. So don't just listen, but go and do, you know, go out there, go and explore something. Well, uh, we'll leave it at that. Uh, the podcast, the full first full length podcast episode will be being released at the end of February sometime. I will keep you guys updated on that. Uh, But follow the Instagram page, follow uh, the Facebook page, and subscribe to the iTunes account, subscribe to Spotify, subscribe to wherever you want to listen to this podcast at, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to, subscribe to all of that. And stay updated, guys, and I'll keep you guys updated. All right, have a good one.